Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, Izzy and I are going to go to a farm and get some hay. She thinks we're going to play ball, but she's mistaken. I guess once. The farm we're going to has cattle, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with her if I'll have to leave her in the truck or if she can come in the, in the shed with me. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go bye-bye, Izzy. No, don't bring your ball. Can't bring the ball. No, no balls allowed. Go take a look at the hay supply here. I don't know exactly what the deal is. The farmer we've been getting hay from has been bringing hay bales like once a week. And since he's brought this lousy uh, curly dock loaded bale. He hasn't brought any other ones and we've been relying on the square bales Okay, so we got one there one there and a half of one here and probably another half on the ground So we got about three bales. I think they're going through Oh, what is it? three or four a day in this really cold weather but the really cold weather is easing up now. Okay. I have a tire in here, but it's frozen to the bottom. Can't get that out. I'm not sure how much hay I'm gonna be able to get in here. Maybe as I start stacking hay in here, that'll loosen that tire up. I'm gonna have to go do a couple loads. I think I just need to get enough hay to last till the weekend when he can bring another bale. But we'll see. I can always go tomorrow too. It's not that far. You want to go bye bye? You got to leave that ball. Drop the ball. Let's go. I know it's hard. Do you want help? Good job, puppy. Good job, Izzy. All right, we are only going about a mile, so I'll see you there. How you doing, big girl? All right, that is the farm we're heading to right there. You can see his barn. I believe he has a bunch of round bales lined up out here. We'll see if he has any in the shed. He's got a feed shed up right where we're going here. As soon as we get over this little rise. There's all his old equipment. Yeah, I thought he had some round bales out here. There they are. Oh, and he's got them right here too. Well, that one on the end doesn't look bad at all. Hopefully this truck makes it up this hill. We'll put her in four low for that. All right, I'm gonna let it run and go in and get some hay. OK, 
Okay. Okay, there we are. It's a pretty nice hay right here. Some pretty bad hay too. Oh, I guess that's not that bad. All right. Let's get some loaded up. That's 10 bales, and yeah, this stuff is pretty yellow, but in reality, the color really doesn't matter all that much. But this is pretty good here. I'm gonna say he's probably got 20 more decent bales, which is not much, but Got a whole shit ton of round bales right there and a bunch right here and he's probably got some along the road. He owns hundreds and hundreds of acres. There's the cattle. That's why Izzy can't come out. She would run right over there and hassle those steer and we don't need that. All right, I got 10 bales and I don't know, I should probably come back and get 10 more. We'll see. We'll ask Izzy. What do you think, big girl? Did you see the cattle? Did you see them back there, honey? All right, let's see if we can get out of here. No problem. All right, I will meet you back at the homestead. Well, something happened on the road. Come on. Nothing hanging down, but there was a loud bang and it felt like the brakes went on like really hard. I think one of the drive shafts broke or something. That really sucks. Oh. 
had to stop there to get rid of them balls. It still appears to be driving, so looks like I'm going to have to take this into the mechanic today. We have another car that we have to bring in as well. That car right there. <sighs> yep. Lots of problems. Where is that dog? There she is. Yeah, you could hear that that click. It's that right front, right front shaft. The either the U joint broke, or the shaft itself broke. I don't think it's the shaft. It's probably U joint. Hopefully, that dog does not have them balls in the way again. Horses look excited. Izzy, leave. see anything from here but ah oh, that's just great all right well oh geez almost <laughs> did you put them there on purpose should I throw both of them I can do that Okay, let's get this stuff unloaded and call the mechanic. Yeah, so we have 10 bales, or no, we have three in here, plus those 10. So even at four bales a day, that would take us to the weekend. And I believe he can deliver a round bale on the weekend. Wow, we have a hay emergency, a truck emergency, what else could go wrong, Izzy? Someone could not throw the ball. That would be wrong. All right, let's get moving on this.
hopefully this works out. I think this is plenty of hay until the weekend when he can get another round bale here. And I guess I'll have to get my truck fixed before I can go get any more hay or take the stuff to the dump, take the garbage to the dump. I might have to take it in the minivan. Oh, the pain. All right, get this truck parked and I guess we'll have to take it in today. We're taking in that car in probably an hour. So we'll have to make, oh no, actually, no, we're leaving both cars. So we'll have to, uh, we're gonna have to make two trips. That blows. All right, let me park this. These horses are acting like they need food. It's a good possibility. Oh, it's just so nice and warm in here. It's 17 degrees out or 16 degrees, something like that. Let me get these gloves off. And it feels a million times better than it did just a couple days ago but it's still cold. All right, that should do it. Taking the truck in. This is the way to our mechanic. We get to the edge of this big ridge right here. These are all hollows down to the side. We get to the edge of this ridge and then drop down into uh, Star Hollow. And that's where he's at. This little farm right here, they have llamas and stuff, but I don't see them. Yeah, take it a little slow on these curves. This is all packed snow and ice on the ground. down into the valley. I can see the Amish metal factory. That's it way the heck over that way on one of the points of the star. All right, these hills can be a little bit dangerous, so I am gonna sign off for a little bit. Okay, we have no cars. All of our vehicles are gone. Two of them are in the shop and Cindy just took one to pick up Natalie. Apparently Natalie's coach wants her to eat more protein and to get more magnesium. I can see the protein. I don't know about the magnesium, but whatever. Coach is a coach. Did you hear that? It's right there. Get it. Okay. So the guy at the shop, our mechanic, said, Izzy, stop that. I guess I can give you guys some. Our mechanic said that the truck may be just fine, that I forget what it's called, uh, where the gears mesh, uh, that might have just slipped out and was real loud because his tow truck does that as well. So he's gonna take a quick look at it and there's probably nothing wrong with it, which will be great. So, I'm gonna feed these horses real quick and then sign off. <sighs> Not too bad looking.
Oopsie. It's gonna wanna fall on me. Okay, see if I can do this one-handed without tipping the bale over. Once you start feeding them, somebody's going to get hit in the head. For some reason, last two times I've fed these horses, it's like Blue there is getting kicked out of the herd, which is not a good thing. Go ahead, Blue, you get some. Go ahead, honey. I had to give her some over here the last time. I don't know if she just didn't want to eat with them or if they were kicking her out. Ah, oh, jeez. Incoming. There we go. The stuff is all folded, so one flitch is connected to the next. Not good. That farmer's got some, some fairly old machinery, but I don't think he even did this stuff. All right. I have done my horsey deeds for the day. All right, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and we'll have a bunch more horse stuff coming this summer.